Marky. This was the first time I hung out with Marky. He called me up and said he wanted to do something. And I said, let's go to the movies. And he said, let's do something outdoors. And that was the first thing I learned about him, that he liked to be outdoors. And I said, why'd you call me? And he said he'd called me like six times, and why wasn't I ever home? And then he came to pick me up, and I told my mother he was 21 instead of 25, and made him wear a long sleeve shirt to cover his tattoos. And we got into his car, and he put on Billie Holiday, and looked at a map, and we turned left onto Route 47, and he pointed to a mailbox with a sheep on it, and told me this was how he would remember these directions. And then we were hiking, and he said how beautiful my hair was. And I asked him about his family, and it started to rain, and we had sandwiches and french fries and ice cream at this stand on the side of the road that he liked. And I walked barefoot on the gravel because my feet hurt from my shoes, and my ice cream melted on the way home. And then we got back to my house when it had stopped raining and was humid and dark blue outside. And the central air was on, and I made him tea in the microwave and showed him my room, and we looked through this old photo album I bought at an antique store with pictures of all these Victorian women at boarding school and on vacation at a lake in the summer. And then we were downstairs, and he called some boy to see where to meet everyone, and I said, don't feel like you have to stay, and he said he wouldn't stay if he didn't want to. And we sat in my kitchen and listened to national public radio, and he left. Later, there would be all these things. Once, I said, why can't you be straight? And he said, why can't you be gay and a man and eight years older? And then we hugged each other for minutes, and I almost lost my balance and left a lipstick print on the shoulder of his T-shirt, and then I was late for my curfew. Once, we played chess, and I lost, and we went out to the parking lot, and he tried to teach me things to say in Arabic. Once, I made an apple pie while we watched a Betty Davis movie, and he said I was the smartest person he ever met and told me about a boy he gave sunflowers to when he lived in New York City. Once, he said, doesn't tea seem warmer when it comes in a glass? And I agreed with him. Once, we went swimming in a reservoir and had to duck under the water to hide from a security car that was passing by, and he picked flowers on the way back. Once, he braided my hair on Faz's front porch. Once, he got me an antique dictionary for my birthday and scattered old photos of people all through it. Once, we fell asleep on the top of the mountain. He told me he was introspective in the winter and that I wouldn't see him for an entire season. I didn't believe him, but all of a sudden, I was making plans and he was breaking them. I was leaving messages on his machine and he wasn't calling back. His Christmas gift became his going away present, which I gave to him with a hug on July 8th before he left for Ithaca, before I left for Erie, and we were strangers, and he looked at me like I was exhausting. <laughs>